Hello YouTube, this is Compound 7 Helper, and today I'm going to teach you how to get Nintendo DS emulator on your computer, and how to fix a lot of problems that happen with people, like when they start the thing up, it'll say something like your save doesn't work, but I'm going to teach you how to get it and how to fix it. So first, open up your browser and go to the link that will be in the description to download No Cash GBA. Um, you're going to click the download one, this is No Cash GBA 2.6a after you scroll down. And after you download that, you want to get your games from CoolRom.com, which will be in the description as well. So now that you have all that stuff, you're going to want to extract it. So you're going to get a file that looks like this, no cash GBA. Um, you're going to find wherever you download it, put it on your desktop. And you're going to right-click this book file and click extract here. And you'll get something that, sit, that says no cash GBA and readme file. I already deleted the readme file, so that's why it's not there. And you're going to get your games. So I have New Super Mario Bros. and Pokemon Heart Gold. And you're going to do the same thing when you get these book files. Right click and press extract here. So now you're going to open up No Cat GBA by double clicking it. And it'll take you to a uh, browser. You're going to find wherever you put your games and click on them. And the game's not going to work because it's not on the right settings. That's what it says. Now I'm going to teach you how to fix this problem. On New Super Mario Bros, you're gonna go to gonna want to go to Options, Emulation Settings, and then go to the one that says NDS Cartridge Backup Media, and put on EE Prom 64K bits. Press OK, and reset your cartridge. And now the game works. So, you know, we got Mario now. And now I'm gonna show you how to get. How to make Pokemon work since Pokemon has different settings as well. You're gonna open no GBA, find your Pokemon file, open it, and it's not gonna work. So you're gonna click options, emulation setup, go to NDS cartridge backup media, and put flash 512k bits. Then you're gonna press OK and reset cartridge, and now the game works. So basically, every game, almost every game works with this emulator, but if it doesn't, just options, emulation settings, and mess around with these, and click all, all, like, try them all if a game doesn't work. Most commercial games, like popular games, will work with EE Prom 64K bytes and Flash 512K bytes, but you never know. So, there's Pokemon, and New Super Mario Bros. running flawlessly with sound. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and i hope i helped you with this video thanks for watching